Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Stephen Duffy here with Stephen Duffy Real Estate and JK Realty. I've got another episode of 100 Questions in 100 Days. So, one thing that comes up uh, usually when I talk to people about selling their home is should I update, should I make some updates on it before I sell it? And my answer to that is well, it kind of depends. It kind of look, you need to look at the age of the home, um, age since the last time it's been updated, and just kind of the overall appearance of it because. Right now, let's face it, it's November of 2021, and we really have a hot seller's market. It's not a matter of if homes sell, it's a matter of how much they sell for. Um, right now, anything we put on the market is pretty much selling, and that's where we're at right now. But uh, not to say that freshening up a home doesn't make it sell for more money and sell quicker. Um, if you're looking to do some quick spruce ups on the house and that are fairly inexpensive uh, to do and yield a pretty good return on investment. Um, inside the home, paint and carpet. Um, kind of That's what makes up 90% of what you see in a home is the paint and the carpet. If you look, make that look fresh and new, um, it's gonna go a long way with seller, or with buyers, I'm sorry, um, in the overall impression that they get of the house and you'll probably be more likely to get multiple offers and get the most out of it. Um, also, if the kitchen and the bathrooms are a little bit dated, maybe worth uh, doing some stuff to bring them up a little bit, maybe change some of the accessories in there, your towel racks, uh, knobs, stuff like that, just to kind of modernize the look a little bit. Uh, that could also help some of the first impressions uh, on the home when a buyer takes a look at it. Now, outside the home, uh, definitely want to tidy up the landscaping, make sure your weeds are pulled, loose leaves are uh, cleaned up out of the front yard, all that kind of stuff. Um, one thing also to pay close attention to is the garage door. Um, if it's not super old, hit it with a pressure washer or the hose even. Uh, give it a quick scrub down because that's really going to brighten up the front of the home. If it's starting to fade and kind of starting to look a little bit cruddy, get it replaced. They're less than $2,000 in a lot of cases. Uh, especially if you only do the panels, you don't need the track assembly and all of that replaced. Uh, and you do get a, le a lot of return on investment out of that. Um, it really helps brighten up the home, uh, really changes the first impression that people get when they come up to the home. And that, once again, creates that compelling argument of why they should buy your house. So uh, maintenance-wise, seeing a few things that usually pop up and people ask questions about, and that's going to be the roof and the air conditioning. Um, people are definitely looking for newer roofs, less than 15 years old, just because of how harsh the monsoon season is here and the high winds we get are how hard they are on roofs. And then just the heat being as brutal as it is, um, people are always asking about the air conditioner and are typically looking for that to be less than 10 years old um, and maintained. So I hope you guys find this information useful. Um, if you are looking to buy or sell and have some of these questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to take the time and answer those for you. Um, also, if you are in the not in the Phoenix area and you're seeing this video and you're looking for somebody in your area, shoot, shoot me a message. I can definitely get you set up with somebody here, uh, somebody in your area that can get you taken care of and holds the same kind of values and stuff that I do. So hope you guys have a great rest of the day, and we'll see you next time around.